today we'll be going through something I think a lot of photographers have had as a problem that's skin tone correction like matching skin tones now if you look at this image I'm uh, looking at the face and then the rest of her body you can see clearly that there is makeup on the face and uh, that gives it a different tone from the rest of the body if you look at her neck and then her shoulders coming down here you realize they all have different tones now today i'll teach you how to correct it in capture one so first of all let me do my basic settings and let's bump it up a bit Bit of highlights. Yeah. I shot this with a custom white balance, so I think I like how it is. Okay, so this is okay for me. So, what uh, we'll do is first we need to mask the areas we want to match, which is um, all this area wherever her skin shows except her fingers i just want to match her face to the rest of her body so first of all we go to the adjustment layers and then come here and select the mask draw mask or you can just press b on your keyboard then we use the bracket keys to make it bigger or smaller so with that we just uh, paint over the skin where we want the changes we make to affect so that's exactly what I'm doing brushing over the skin now because this is a tutorial I won't be too precise on the areas i'll just make a rough selection so i don't waste time but then to get this perfectly you need to get a better selection so this is just a rough selection i'll zoom in more to the face Okay, I intentionally left this area out because um, that place should have something like um, eyeshadow or something. I wouldn't want to um, affect it, so I just leave it like that. Now, if you can see, we have our selection, which creates a new layer. So we can rename this layer Skin Tones. Then, now let's go to where the magic happens. Let's go to the color then color editor this is where the magic happens now you see basic advanced my i have another video on working with the advanced tab here to change the color of the sky some form of color grading so i'll add the description i'll add the link in the description so you can watch that video as well today we'll be working with the skin tone tab so just select it now there's a color picker here click it and then we look on her skin and then select where we think should be the tone close to her real skin tone now um, on her face there's makeup so i'll pick something in the middle perhaps somewhere here So I'll click on this little thing here to, as the description says, span full saturation range. Good. Now we come to the uniformity sliders here. That's where the magic happens. Now, if you move this all the way up, you see what happens. It moves it towards uh, yellow, as you can see. 
so we just move it to we won't see the result as you move it but just hang on hold on we'll get to the point where you see everything like now the saturation do you want it more saturated or less more less so we just raise it up a bit and then lightness now i'll take this to the extreme so you see the difference you see now plastic normal plastic normal so it's about getting it right to make it believable so that no one sees your images and says how oh, plastic surgery so you just slide it to and fro till you get something yeah, okay. sometimes you have to do it more than once to get what you want but sometimes too if your the color you pick works well you should be able to get it in your first try so we just this small adjustment let's go take a look at before and after so to check before and after press and hold alt on your keyboard then click on this so this is before this is after before after before and after so basically we've been able to match her skin to as you can see there is makeup on her face so you don't expect you know, the whole area to have the same tone because this place has no makeup but with the little adjustments we've made you realize that it's been able to blend it in so it's like from the top here heavy makeup as it comes down it's light 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 like kind of a gradient so the transitions are very smooth unlike how it was before let's go back to before now before now and as you can see my images are close to natural i like keeping my images close to natural so you could have gone to the extreme and then made her skin tone like the same but because i like my images close to natural i guess you know, small small adjustments so guys here you have it i hope this has been informative for you if there is something you don't understand feel free send me a message or write it in the comment section i'll reply as soon as i can i will surely do another video maybe a headshot you know, so you can see the real effects but i hope this has been helpful thank you for watching